There may be occasions where you want to promote on a blog post or somewhere on social media, and you might want to include a double page spread from that or the cover. Well, there is a simple way that you can achieve that in InDesign. If I go to File and go down to Export, here, down at the bottom, first of all, I don't want to export this as a PDF. You can actually choose to export as a JPEG. And from there, making sure that I'm in my export folder, I'll change the name at the end in here to screen. So I know that this JPEG is intended for my screen promotional content. Go down to the bottom and click on save. When this appears on screen, if you have anything selected, then it will export just the selected content on your page. However, the default usually is all pages. Now, in my case, I just want to click on a range of pages and choose 62 to 63, just to export the spread in here. And I will choose spread to combine them together in one JPEG file. Under images, make sure the quality is set to maximum. And then for the resolution, well, if you intend to use a, a miniature version of your cover, for example, or a spread in some part of printed material, then do just make sure that this resolution is set to 300. If you're going to use it on social media, then the chances are that you could use something like 96 or 150. But do bear in mind that you're going to have to do some work to that JPEG file before you put it onto social media because it's likely going to be too large. I'm going to leave mine set to 300 and head down to the bottom section where I'll leave the embedded color profile set to RGB and then I'll leave anti-alias turned on and then I'll turn on simulate overprint. And so if I've got any transparency or any effects, they'll be included in the JPEG output as well. And then I'll click on export. And that's what the exported JPEG file looks like. So you'll notice that it's very big. If I go to image, image size, it is of course print quality JPEG at the same dimensions as the actual finished publication itself. So the quality that we've achieved here is great, but if you are going to use it online, such as social media, you are going to need to scale the size of this graphic down considerably so it's fit for purpose.